And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. When I was asked to take a look at Space Yogurt, half the fun, I think, is in the name itself. Hey, it's a game about Space Yogurt. It's just a good name. It is. And then I saw the pieces, cool little plastic miniature pieces. Well, that's intriguing. I read the rules. Oh, this is a game for kids. I have the ultimate kid playtesting group. Let's see what we thought. In this game, players are trying to get their three different people from their crew. You start in your home here and you're trying to get them into the cockpit over here. Each of them has a distinctive feature. This guy has a star on his chest looking like he came from a Dr. Seuss book. This guy has a giant eyeball stalk. And this little gentleman is carrying a wrench. And that's important to remember those because each of those matches one of these dice here. On your turn, you'll roll these three dice and then pick one of those people to move. So let's say I pick the first one. I would move my star guy one space. Pretty simple. Or I can move my eye stalk guy one space. Or I can move my wrench guy to a portal. There's four portals here. And he can go to one of these portals. And next turn, he'll come out from that portal. So obviously, I'm going to start over there. Now, that's pretty much it. If you land on somebody else, then that person is sent back home, even if it's yourself. You know, for some reason, I roll one. Next turn, I roll ones. Boom. Of course, I think I would move them myself. If you land on one of these bouncing portals, you'll roll this die, which has the bouncing symbol on three sides of it. I roll, bounce again, and I keep doing that till I no longer bounce. But you could bounce all the way into your home area. If you land on the Space Yogurt, after which this game is named, you'll roll the Space Yogurt die. And this one here sends you to the cockpit automatically. Some will send you home. And some will do pretty much nothing. All right, so that is it. Once you have someone here in the home, in the cockpit, then you're still rolling the dice, I guess, but now you're only looking at two of them and then eventually on one of them. And as soon as you get all three there, you win the game. You might guess what my opinion of this game is and you would probably be correct. This game is a roll and move game where you're rolling dice and moving them and landing other pieces and sending them home. This has been done in Parcheesi. It has been done in Sorry. This game has decided to take those games and make it seem more complicated, but actually make it lighter than that. The dice for them, for each of the guys, is a 1-1-1, one, 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 a 2, a 3, and a warp. While the middle one here, that, that's the big guy. The little one is a 1-1-2-3-4 one, one, and a warp. And then the small one is a 1-2-3-4-5 and a warp. Does that matter at all? It does not, because you could roll your big one onto the yogurt space and roll him into the cockpit. You could roll one on the bouncing thing and roll three bouncings in a row and be in the cockpit. You could be almost at the cockpit, someone lands on you and sends you back home. However, lest that make you weep, this game will be over in 10 minutes. It's really fast, because you only have to get three people in. You roll three dice and you pick the roll that's best for you. Or you pick one that lands on Space Yogurt and hope you get lucky on your roll. There's just a lot of space on the board. Oh, you, oh I'm, I, you're, you're safe on your own color. Well, whoopee kata do. That means almost nothing in this game. This game is okay, I guess, if no other games had existed for 20 years. There's nothing new here. This is like... This is like a mass market Candyland style game. And yeah, it's cool that there's three sizes of dice and there's five custom dice in the game and cool miniatures, but none of that means anything if kids are just rolling a die, seeing what happens. And I don't think they're really even having fun. They were kind of disgruntled like, ooh, oh, that person won? Oh, you mean they just got lucky? Well, I had to go back home three times. Yeah, well, them's the breaks, kids. Let's do it again. Now, Dad, let's find something more fun. You're right. I like the artwork. I like the production. All well, the box is kind of not that good of quality. But the rest of the production is fine. Uh, but there's a lot of great kids out there. And even though I'm willing to give roll and move games a pass sometimes, if my kids enjoy playing them, this was one where they were kind of frustrated by the incredible amounts of luck.
Dice Tower Judgment, unimaginative. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Yeah. Yeah.